Don't underestimate the youth. I might be a Gen Xer with lots of education and life experience, but I've learned that you can always learn from younger generations. They are often watching you and adjusting. When you encourage them to take what they've learned and forge their own path, you get amazing results and the fruits of their labors can benefit you. Today's guest is no exception. Her name is Gabby. I've known her for a long time and we stay in touch even though we're on separate coasts now. She's in her 20s and manages a full-time job, grad school, a social life, all while going to bed every night at nine? Learn how Gabby manages it all, plus a comfy sleep on this episode of The Why Behind Your Z's. Welcome to The Why Behind Your Z's podcast, the show that helps you maximize your sleep one night at a time. Brought to you by sleepyoudeserve.com. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Why Behind Your Z's. I am your host, Paul Bright, certified sleep science coach and United States Air Force veteran. Today's guest is Gabby, a relative that's apparently been the real sleep expert in our family. When I caught up with her not too long ago, she was telling me about her sleep setup and I knew she had to be on this show. All right, my valued guest and family member, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, where you live, what do you do? Yeah, um, I'm Gabby, and currently um, I'm working as a public assistant specialist for Yellow County, so I'm giving out like CalFresh, Medi-Cal, and CalWorks to people in Yellow County, um, and then I'm also going to school out in Stockton, um, and then I'm just living in uh California Davis, specifically. California Davis area, north of the mm-hmm. Bay, uh, closer to Sacramento. Okay, yeah. yeah. People forget California is a really big state. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I remember living there for many, many years, and it was mm-hmm. always sunny. Um, so wow, you're working full time, and you're going to school. What are you going to school for again? I am going to school right now for my master's in education, and then I'm also getting my educational specialist degree in school psychology, and then after that, I'll be getting my um, doctorate in psychology wow. just to finish up. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of time you're putting in. A lot of time. A lot of yeah. time. Right. So you work full time. You're going mm-hmm. to school. Mm-hmm. When, when do you sleep? Um, typically, I'm off of work about five o'clock, and then um, I'll have class Tuesday, Thursday usually. And class usually goes until about, um, I'd say seven Mm o'clock. Um, and then after that, that's when I start slowly moving into my uh, sleep routine. Yeah. And what, when are you usually asleep by? I'd say I'd like to be in bed by nine 30 and then asleep no later than 10 30. You're not out like partying, you know, you live in a college town. Yeah, I, I a lot of people are actually surprised by that. It, it's funny. People yeah. are like, you're so young. Like, what are you doing going to bed so early? Like, grandma yeah. time. But yeah. I, I value my sleep and my, yes. my energy because I do so much. So yeah. I definitely value that time very that much. Help you. Yeah, yeah. That's what I noticed about you as an adult. Like, you just, you you still value your sleep, yet you, you have all these friends that you hang out with on the weekends. And mm-hmm. You still go do things, but yeah. it's like the weekdays is like 930, really. Mm-hmm. And it, you yeah. start, and you start your routine at seven something. You said, right? Yeah, I'd say about seven thirty, eight o'clock for sure. Seven thirty to eight. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So can, let's walk through that routine a little bit. What, mm-hmm. What's it? What's it like for you? Uh, usually, if I know that I'm like going to bed, going to bed. Um, if I hadn't showered in the morning, then I'll shower at night. Um, after my shower, then I obviously have my bedtime clothing on, everything like that. Um, I take my skincare very seriously. Mm-hmm. So I spend about a good 30, maybe 40 minutes on my skincare because I would take my time, let things oh, dry on my face, gotcha. okay. uh, things like that. So that takes the most of my time in my skin or that, my sleep routine. Is that relaxing? Like that? It is. It okay. is. I, I think that it's definitely um, therapeutic. And that also allows me to get my last bit of screen time in 
So oh. I'll play like a podcast or YouTube oh, video okay. or like the last episode of a show oh. while I do my skincare routine. Oh, that's um, good. Because I don't have to pay attention to the screen while yeah. I'm doing my skincare. Because obviously I'm washing my face. Yeah. Um. So it's just a way for me to hear something while I'm while like, I'm doing that. Like mm -hmm. one of my shows. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that takes about a half hour. Yeah, and then um, after that, I usually will finish up my last minute tidying up, um, getting my bag ready for work the next day, um, finishing up any dishes I didn't do. Uh, prepping my breakfast or lunch for the next day. Oh, yeah. um, any any things that I, I didn't get to finish during the daytime, obviously, because right. I work and go to school and stuff, um, I finish in that time, and it's another about 30 minutes. Okay. Um, so, yeah. All right. And so that, that sets you up for the morning, I guess. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're not rushing because you took care of it at night. Yeah. Okay. So do you have any specific, like, type of uh, sleepwear that you wear anything like crazy or i i definitely am a sock wearer to bed i know that's such like a controversial thing like oh are you socks or no socks and i'm definitely a sock wearer um mm -hmm. and then i usually just wear a big t-shirt and then some type of shorts okay. uh to bed um because that to me is more comfortable and then if i take my naps usually yeah. that's when i wear something like uh still a t-shirt but i'll wear like pants because that's uncomfy to me so in my mind Maybe. i'm like differentiating like yeah. between yeah, yeah a nap and and, uh... and bedtime I'm the same way, like I will nap on the couch or mm -hmm. if I do nap I'm in my bed, I don't ever hardly ever get in the sheets unless like yep. I'm trying to, re but usually mm -hmm. like on top of the bed, 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then I wake up. After the break, learn how Gabby sets her bedroom up to optimize her sleep and exactly how did she sleep when she went to Vegas? Hi. I'm Lauren Wolf, host of the Your Zen Friend podcast. On this podcast, I share wisdom from working as a licensed mental health therapist for more than 20 years. Using storytelling and lighthearted humor, each episode explores themes on personal growth, including tips and strategies to improve your mental health and overall well-being. By subscribing to this podcast, you will get a new episode every Tuesday and also receive A Drop of Zen, a short guided meditation each Friday. If you're a perfectly imperfect human like me, who's always striving to do better and feel better, then this podcast is for you. Find your Zen friend on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. your your bedroom so how how is it designed so that you actually stay asleep because i imagine you once you're out you're out yeah. yeah so usually um all my curtains and blinds are closed i i need it to be 100 percent no lights anywhere mm -hmm. like even like night lights bother me like it has to be pitch black in oh, here uh yeah. for me to sleep properly because i don't know what it is even with like my eyes closed yeah. um i can feel the light for some reason i don't know why <laughs> it's light. exactly i see you so. blinking green led 50 <laughs> yards away yeah all <laughs> curtains are closed um i like to have all the lights off and if for some reason there is a light or i can feel a light i'll put um some type of eye mask on or throw my yeah. bonnet over my eyes or something like throw that. Um, yeah, <laughs> usually I'll slide my bonnet over my eyes. Um, and then I like to have the AC on. Um, thankfully, I don't have to, like my AC is like a box hotel AC. Right. So I'm not having to pay for like central AC. So okay, I just blast gotcha. it all night. Yeah. Is that loud? It actually, it is kind of loud, but it's like a, a low hum kind of loud okay. it's not like a is annoying loud so it's kind of like white noise but like quieter than white noise if that makes sense right. it's not as crunchy yeah. as white noise yeah. yeah yeah you're asleep at nine what time you get up uh my alarm goes off at 5 45 every morning that's like a solid eight almost nine hours yeah you up in the middle of the night or anything like that um i used to um, I think that because I usually am in bed by about nine o'clock and then I'll say like usually I'm asleep by maybe 10. Um, I, I think that because I've just gotten better about my sleep routine and because I am doing a lot of stuff during the day, I usually yeah. stay asleep. Sometimes yeah. I'll wake up maybe like an hour before my alarm and sometimes I'll just lay in bed. I won't get up okay. until my alarm goes off, but I'll, 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 gotcha. I'll definitely um, just lay in bed. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing this kind of routine? 
yeah my bachelor since i was getting my bachelor's degree so that was about uh 2018 2019 so it's Maybe been about like a good five years five years yeah okay that's pretty steady mm -hmm. and it seems to work mm -hmm. okay so i know a few years ago you went to vegas this you know that's a place that doesn't sleep yeah did you, did you like break your routine a little bit for that <laughs> usually on the weekends when i go out um with friends i'll say specifically and yeah. my friends are very much night owls like i'll be like oh i'm really tired guys like i'm about to go to bed and they're like it's only 10 30 like it's so <laughs> young the night's young um typically i'll if it's a friday to saturday um or a saturday to sunday i'll break my routine a little bit um so you know late like if we go to bed and it's like midnight 1 a.m um i don't like to stay in bed until eight because that messes up my routine right. so sometimes i will make myself get up still I, i'll right. say six or seven yeah. like it's not as early as i'm used yeah. to but it's you know still yeah. early it's enough not too far um, off. Yeah, yeah exactly right. yeah and you know it's coming so it's like mm -hmm. we're gonna stay yeah i can plan for it exactly right. okay and you also mentioned that you nap so mm -hmm. okay so i don't nap uh during the weekdays anymore um, just because I don't have very much time to nap. And sometimes I would get away with it when I was working from home, mm. uh, maybe like a quick 10 to two minute power nap. Yeah. Um, but that was, you know, that was very just kind of uh, while it was, it was like the four months I was working from home, you know, when I do nap, it used to be on Sundays, I would give my time, like maybe two hours for a nap, but I have shifted that to Saturdays two just because, yeah, <laughs> two, two hours usually. But is the sleep coach in me is like, you know, that might mm -hmm. start to push into like your deep sleep and mess it up, but yeah. you're also staying up later on the weekend. Mm -hmm. So it seems to like, okay, if I'm going to stay up, I need to get this nap in. And it yeah. Seems to so work it, it kind of balances out. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, it seems works. to work out. It doesn't seem like to wreck everything else. So, mm -mm. so what about like car rides? And I'm only picking on you because I know that you, you <laughs> have this thing where you would pass out in the car. Like I have tried to beat that and uh, I have yet to beat the car napping at, yeah. at all like I think I recently went to I think it was about uh two and a half weeks ago went to Monterey and it's a, it's like a maybe three hour drive maybe four if you're right. taking like the coastal route or whatever mm -hmm. um I was gone literally I was gone for at least a, a cool two and a half hours <laughs> like I had a sleep pillow that was like memory foam and could conform to like wherever oh, I wanted it to go horrible side passenger no conversation <laughs> listen I made sure that the driver was great. They had their okay. water and snacks, you okay, know, so they had the music going. Yeah, you, we were you prepped. them so <laughs> you could stay asleep. Yeah. yeah, I was like, you're cool, you know, so... like, I'm going to be gone for the next, hmm, maybe about an hour so, and a half, two hours. So crafty. <laughs> oh, do you, do you do like any teas or any snacks or anything like that, like as part of your routine? Uh, I try not to eat um, too close to my bedtime just because I feel that I sleep worse because I'm full. I don't like the feeling of being full when I go to bed. Uh -huh. So if, even if I'm out on like the weekends and yeah. I'm like, okay, we're going to go to bed at like midnight, 1am and they're like, Oh, late night snack. Or like, you know, I didn't really eat dinner. I'll try to right. eat something lighter. Um, right. just because I, I can't handle, I can't sleep as well, as well as I do, you know, versus like when my stomach is full when it's not. So I try to, I try to eat like, you know, if I'm off at five and I know I'm going to bed at nine between six and seven so that gives okay. my stomach two yeah, hours to just hours. Yeah, yeah just right. you know do whatever it needs to do where did you learn all this um trial and error and then okay. also i think just <laughs> my parents i feel like they have a similar-esque kind of routine you know you know just like based off like my mom she doesn't need super late and seeing them and then also just my own thing finally i had to know how does she benefit from all the sleep that's not so typical of a 20 something? I think the, the big thing takeaway for me is that a lot of people ask me like, oh, don't you feel like that's a waste of your day or a waste of time or like you planning your sleep or even just like my napping in general, you know, I'm like, hey guys, like right. it was nice to hang out. It's Saturday, <laughs> it's 12 o'clock, you know, I had lunch, I, I'm gonna go, you know? <laughs> and I think the biggest thing for me is just reminding people and just even myself, I'm like, this is like the time for me to like refresh and reset, yeah. you know, because I'm yeah. like, I do so much, you know, it's like, it's not a waste of time because I'm like, I'm taking that time for myself, yeah. you know, and even if it's people playing video games for two hours and they're taking that time for themselves, that's just my time to do, you know, that's just how right. I pick to yeah. spend my time, yeah. you know? So like it's not looking at it as a waste, but more of like, 
this is my time to refresh yeah. and you know i'm helping myself later on you know yeah yeah so. that's true because even when you were talking about your your um skincare routine and your that mm -hmm. screen time see like in in the field like that is those are like alpha waves that's your mm -hmm. neurons they're not too busy processing they're on their way down they're slowing down so you're doing things but they're kind of mindless you know they're kind of relaxing mm -hmm. and then yeah. by the time you hit bed it gets even slower to like the theta wave so it's not oscillating too much because mm -hmm. when your neurons are oscillating and creating waves they're creating energy they're creating heat in there so it's hard to sleep when you're like going to bed like 100 miles per hour yeah so this exactly. is like your own built-in routine you know like mm -hmm. for me like before I go to bed, a lot of times I'm in the dark for like 30, 45 minutes, just chilling. And that's part of my yeah. de-escalating. So you, mm -hmm. whatever it is in the routine world, it seems to help. And it's helping you and you're young and you, you know, you have things to do. You are busy. You're not laying around all yeah. day for sure. No. You're doing stuff, yeah. you know, all full bore, but mm -hmm. sleep seems to be giving you your energy for that. So good stuff. I do appreciate your time. I do appreciate your routine you're you're young and you've got this established and, it, and it's given you the energy you need mm -hmm. to do all that you do so mm -hmm. i like that thank thanks for your time yeah of course want, want to say hi to your parents or anything <laughs> hello father <laughs> oh hello gabby <laughs> you know yes that's right gabby is my daughter and i'm thankful that she was willing to be on my show um, she established this routine of sleep that you heard about well before I was a sleep coach. I don't think I remember a day of giving her advice on how to sleep. And I, I am obviously not doing a 30 minute cleanse on my face before bed, but we did have the establishment of routines and how important they were. And mm -hmm. it looks like that's what you did. But I tell people all the time. Uh, my friends that knew that you're going to be on here that you have been like this since birth like you were the only kid I knew that looked forward to napping in preschool yeah. kindergarten you looked forward to nap time you looked forward mm -hmm. to going to bed like there was a certain yeah. age that you wanted to stay up with us all the time but then there was a point I think you must have been five or six you're like is it bedtime I'm like uh sure you know and you put on your little pajamas you have a little mm -hmm. routine and you kept that up. Yeah. So sleeping in the car has always been a thing. I remember being mm -hmm. concerned. I was like, what? When she starts driving, how is this going to work out? You know? No, so, yeah. So hearing that it carries on like in undergrad and all that, and even in California, is, it, it, it baffled me. So I was like, there's the youngest expert I know on sleep who has her bed set up and everything. I was like, mm -hmm. to be on my show. So I, I do appreciate you, Gabs. No, oh, um, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's comforting to know that even 3,000 miles away, my daughter is getting the sleep she deserves. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Why Behind Your Z's. For more information and additional advice on how to help you get the sleep that you deserve, check the show notes for our email subscriber list. You can also visit our website, sleepyoudeserve.com.